Promulgation of Universal Peace by Abdul Baha Abbas. O oh God, thou who art kind, verily certain words have gathered in this meeting, turning to thee with their hearts and spirits. They are seeking the everlasting bounty. They are in need of thine infinite mercy. O oh Lord, remove the veils from their eyes and dispel the darkness of ignorance. Confer upon them the light of knowledge and wisdom. Illumine these contrite hearts with the radiance of the sun of reality. Make these eyes perceptive through witnessing the lights of thy sovereignty. Suffer these spirits to rejoice through the great glad tidings. And receive these souls into thy supreme kingdom. O Lord, verily we are weak. Make us mighty. We are poor. Assist us from the treasury of thy, thy munificence. We are dead. Resuscitate us through breath of the Holy Spirit. We lack patience in pests and in long suffering. Permit us to attain the lights of oneness. O Lord, make this assemblage the cause of upraising the standard of the oneness of the world of humanity and confirm these souls so that they may become the promoters of international peace. O Lord, verily the people are veiled and in a state of contention with each other, shedding the blood and destroying the possessions of each other. Throughout the world there is war and conflict. In every direction there is strife, bloodshed, and ferocity. O Lord, guide human souls in order that they may turn away from warfare and battle, that they may become loving and kind to each other, that they may enter into affiliation and serve the oneness and solidarity of humanity. O Lord, the horizons of the world are darkened by this dissension. O God, illumine them, and through the lights of thy love, let the hearts become radiant. Through the blessing of thy bestowal, resuscitate the spirits until every soul shall perceive and act in accordance with thy teachings. Thou art the Almighty, thou art the Omniscient, thou art the Seer, O Lord, be compassionate to all. Talks Abdul Baha delivered in Boston and Melbourne, the 25th of August, 1912. Talk at... Oh, there wasn't... For some reason there's not... Okay, well, I'll start this. The 25th of August, 1912. Talk at the New Thought Forum, Metaphysical Club, Boston, Massachusetts. Notes by Edna McKenney. O thou kind God, in utmost state of humility and submission, do we entreat and supplicate at thy threshold, seeking thine endless confirmations and illimitable assistance. O thou Lord, regenerate these souls and confer upon them a new life. Animate the spirits, inform the hearts, open the eyes, and make the ears attentive from thine ancient treasury. Confer a new being, an animus, and from thy pre-existent abode assist them to attain to new confirmations. O God, verily the world is in need of reformation. Bestow upon it a new existence. Give it newness of thoughts, and reveal unto it heavenly sciences. Breathe into it a fresh spirit, and grant unto it a holier and higher purpose. O God, verily thou hast made this century radiant, and in it thou hast made, thou hast manifested thy merciful effulgence. Thou hast effaced the darkness of superstitions, and permitted the light of assurance to shine. O God, grant that these servants may be acceptable at thy threshold. Reveal a new heaven, and spread out a new earth for habitation. Let a new Jerusalem descend from on high, and bestow new thoughts, new life upon mankind. Endow souls with new perceptions, and confer upon them new virtues. Verily thou art the Almighty, the Powerful, thou art the Giver, the Generous. And remember, Jerusalem means city. Yeru Shulam. You know, city of peace, city of wholeness. Um, Doesn't your also mean cat, something thrown? Um, 
It is easy to bring human bodies under control. A king can bring under his rule and authority the bodies of his subjects throughout a whole country. In former centuries, kings and rulers have absolutely dominated millions of men and have been thereby enabled to carry out whatsoever they desire. Well, always the limit. There's always something more than even the trillionaires capable of. Apparently we're reaching that uh, stage of society. If they desired to send men into the field of battle, none could oppose their authority. If they decreed their kingdoms should enjoy the bliss and serenity of immunity from war, this condition prevailed. In a word, kings and rulers have been able to control millions of human beings and have exercised that dominion with the utmost despotism and tyranny. The ancient Egyptians had a way of speaking, and I think most religious cultures have that you can control someone's body, but you can't control their soul. Back a churwa. B N W from my name is that sort of soul service. Ba, ka, and the hey, the astral soul, the uh, the astral, the other, and the house for such. So Mecca has, um, you know, you project your prayers are in that direction. Even some ancient Egyptian group, Ibrahim, Idris, Kudub, why he was called dog, I don't know. Um, but anyways, the point is this. To gain control over physical bodies is an extremely easy matter, but to bring spirits within the bonds, the serenity, is a most arduous undertaking. We end up with, whenever you try to force religion, you end up with a hodgepodge sort of thing. This is not the work of everybody. It necessitates a divine and holy potency. The potency of inspiration, the power of the Holy Spirit, for example, Christ, was capable of leading spirits into that abode of, the, of serenity. He was capable of guiding hearts into that haven of rest. From the day of his manifestation to the present time, he has been resuscitating hearts and quickening spirits. He has exercised that vivifying influence in the realm of hearts and spirits. Therefore, his resuscitating is everlasting. In this century of the latter times, Baha'u'llah has appeared and so resuscitated spirits that have manifested powers more than human. Thousands of his followers have given their lives of white under the sword, shedding their blood they have proclaimed Ya Baha Ul Apa. Such resuscitation is possible. Oh, is impossible, except through a heavenly potency, a supernatural power, the divine power of the Holy Spirit, through a natural and mere human power, this is impossible. Therefore, the question arises how is this resuscitation to be accomplished? There are certain means for the accomplishment by which mankind is regenerated, uh, regenerated and quickened with a new birth. This is the second birth mentioned in the heavenly books. Its accomplishment is through the baptism of the Holy Spirit. The resuscitation or rebirth of the spirit of man is through the science and love of God. It is through the 